Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Big Foot One Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel for episode number seven of our highest rebuild ever. Uh, today we're going to be facing this Los Angeles Charger. We just came off of a heartbreaking loss against Washington, trying to win three in a row. Unfortunately, our only two losses have come against Washington, although we did lose in overtime. We did throw a game ending pick. Uh, but we have four straight home games, two probably winnable home games uh, with the Chargers and the Lions. Although we are a couple years in the future, so who knows? That could change. Um, although not the charge. I mean the Eagles and the Lions. Sorry, excuse me. Uh, but we do have a breakout defensive back, and it's going to be Daniel Rivers. Uh, he needs to have 200 passing or less than 200 passing yards or one pick, forced fumble, tackle for a loss, or a sack from Daniel Rivers. And Daniel Rivers has gone off this season so far just to kind of show you what he's been doing this season. We also do have an upgrade for Dan, uh, for Carson, but we'll get to that in a second. Rivers has popped off. As a 73 overall, is the number two corner. In his rookie season, seven or 13 tackles, two interceptions, and both interceptions have been pick sixes. That That's just insane. He's 5'11", 188 from Tennessee. His two interceptions of his year both have been for touchdowns. So... Time for week five here against the Los Angeles Chargers. All right, so we're facing the new look uh, Los Angeles Chargers with Jalen Hurts as the quarterback. They no longer have Justin Herbert. First point of the game, it's going to be around the right. And nowhere to go. They're on the run. Drake gets his first tackle of the game. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Going quick to Eckler again. Breaks the tackle. Thomas with help. Makes the tackle. He's already a third down here. Can we get off the field? Running up the middle and he's got nothing. He gets a yard and it's fourth and one. And we're going to force a three and out to start the game. Matt Halen. And the offense. Come out after forcing a three and out by the defense. Start off early with a pass to our main guy, Mish Lowell. It's an easy first down. We're going to give it to him now here on the run. Running away from Joey Bosa because I am scared. Actually cut left side and have room to run. That's not even the way we're supposed to go. And Mitch Lowell, two plays over 20 yards. We'll take it. Take that all day. Now it's first and 10 for the 45, already driving. Dump it off to Pierce, who's got another catch for, or not another catch, but his first catch of the game for five. Second down and five. I'm going to run it left side this time. This time, the way we're supposed to run the first time. We only get two. Now third down and three. A very manageable third down. It's a very weird uh, thing there. Can hand off up the middle, and we're not going to get it. Get maybe half a yard. It's fourth down and two. A 54-yard field goal. With the wind. Perfect timed. And we are going to barely make it inside the front. I guess I guess the right post. He missed a 51 to win it last week, but hits a 54-yarder to give us the lead. So offense puts up three. Defense back on the field for the second time. Coy come down here. It's going to be a run. And Eckler has room. Thomas, along with help. The tackle, and that's their first first down of the game. After a gain of 11. Again, 13, sorry, excuse me. I gained 11. I can't do math, obviously. Eckler, single setback. And 38 to throw. He's got a man over the middle. It's Keenan Allen. He breaks a couple tackles for an easy first down. Gains all the... Third, two for two for Hertz for 33 yards. Don't think we're going to keep him under 200. First down and 10. 
Snap is to be a throw. Bowers will pretty much kind of fall down with the receiver there. And second down and seven. I don't know what happened there to begin with. Up on Hamilton just in case if Eckler goes out on a pass. Hamilton can easily get over there. Nice throw, and James was there, but unfortunately couldn't get the interception, but it does get the tackle. It's now third down and two. Alan Lazard with the catch. Run the left side, and he's got room up the middle, and he's got the first and a little bit more. Gains 16. It's now first down and 10 from the 12. Austin Eckler. A sad little run. We're not cover one here. We'll have Kelly be our user here. Snap is another throw. Ooh, Thomas, I thought was going to get there in time, but pushed out of bounds. Second down and one from the three. Be a toss. It is not. And Eckler is just going to run into bodies. He gets a yard, but it's a first down. It's now first and goal from the two. Now out of the gun. Now cover the line. Running left side, and he just gets it on the dive, and the Chargers will take the lead. But to offense we go. Down by four, 7-3. At least we just need to put up points every time we have the ball. Nice little run from Lowell. Makes a couple people miss. Runs a little bit backwards there. But still gains enough of the first. Gains 12. First and 10 from the 34. See if we can't get a pass play here. Let's just not give up the ball right away. Yeah, we'll hit the inside route to Gilmore. His first catch of the game. He really hasn't really been, you know, shown out on this offense. It's mostly been Carson and Robertson along with Pierce. And, of course, Lowell. We'll get another first down. Gains five. It's 69 rushing yards last week. Nice, but not the game that we wanted from him. We were forced to pass a lot, which Halen did was pretty well. Unfortunately, we did throw two interceptions. Lowell is going to get three. Again, unfortunately, we did lose last week to end our winning streak at two. The first time ever we have two wins in a season. Rock the screen. Nice blocks. We got more blocks along up the field, but unfortunately, we do get the first down, fortunately, though. Gain seven. That in the first quarter there. 7-3 score. Well, James is only one possession in the first half. Or I guess this is two possessions. Hmm. First and 10 from the 43. In the snap. Again, we're going to go underneath to Gilmore. He's got his second catch of the game. Five for five start for Matt Halen, who has shown some promise in these last couple of games, especially against the Eagles. Oh, it was mostly the, the Lowell show and against the Eagles. But, and speaking of Lowell, first down, gain of four. Just run right up the gut and get that first down. That's all we needed. <clears throat> now we run inside zone here on first and 10 from the 30. No high safety, so it looks like it's going to be a blitz. It's not a blitz. Lowell will kind of just run into everybody. It gets only two. Little verts here. Looks like they're covering the middle of the field. Let's see if Carson gets open. Carson is wide open and just a bad throw. I think he got hit as he threw the ball. So another incomplete pass. Third down and eight. Go quickly to Carson, and this time he makes the throw and gets the first down. Missed him the first time, gets him the second time. First and ten from the 18. Don't know if anyone on the streak will get open. 
Pierce was on the inside. I thought we were going to be able to hit him, but it unfortunately does not. Second down and 10. After the incomplete pass. Second down. Throwing it. Nice catch by Greer. Greer also has a couple of good catches. Not there, though. It's third down and seven. And as long as we score every time we have the ball, we should be fine. Just the defense is going to have to get a stop at some point. Throw over the middle. Caught by Carson. He's got the touchdown. Again, the rookie-to-rookie -rookie connection. Halen to Carson has been go-to in the red zone. I'm going to take the lead right back. Back on defense. After retaking the lead. 10-7. Play action. Ooh, I thought Bowers was going to get that little speed boost there. Jalen Hurts is 6-for-6 six for, six for 56 yards so far in this game. Has yet to throw an incomplete pass. Be a run, and Washington was there, but unfortunately couldn't make the tackle. He gets the first after a broken tackle. First down and 10. With a 35. Now our middle linebackers aren't great tacklers, and that's probably the big... Big problem we've been having here. As for example, Exhibit A. A broken tackle and a gain of eights, which only sh probably should have been only four. Second down and two. Up again, it's a run. It's a trap play and just instantly destroys our second level. They get an easy first down. And they are just driving down on the field on us with run plays. Only thrown once on this drive. First and 10 for the 47. As I say that, there's another throw. And he's going to take off and slide down after a gain of three. Second down seven. And we do need an interception with James. Throws it. To a wide open man. Keenan Allen, of course, broke more broken tackles, and Washington will have to make the tackle. Gain of 11. The tackles. I don't know what happened to this defense in the last two games, but they just cannot tackle whatsoever. First attempt for the 33 here for the Chargers. I had to take that lead, and two more broken tackles. Gains five for Spiller. We just need to get the interceptions, then we'll be fine. And a motion. It's going to be a run. And this time, three guys tackle him. It's third and two. Third down and two from the 25. It's a run play, and he doesn't get it. The defense holds for the second time in this game. Now force a field goal. Right, we have 235 to go down the field and score. Can we do get ball to start the second half? So if we can score here, score another touchdown. Like score a touchdown, then immediately score another one to start the second half. I have a really good opportunity to put this game away early in the second half. Second down three after the first down run. Running left side again, and we get to the 35. It's third and an inch, and I'll end up being to the two-minute warning. We we'll have a third down and inches from the 35. I'll just get another run in, and then we'll start throwing the ball. Give Lowell some touches here. Nice low run, left side, all the way up to the 45, and then a little bit more. We get to the 47. We'll go no huddle. Wide open, man's Lowell, and he's all the way inside Chargers territory to the 37. Nice gain there. Now we'll start taking some time here. Just in case if we don't do anything here. We are in field goal range. We don't want to blow it. We'll go with a screen. Barely get rid of it. Just before the sack. Just didn't have the time. We're trying to buy it there for a little bit. Very sketchy play, but we're going to try it. Throw it a little well, and it's going to be caught, but gains nothing. 
Third down and 10. Carson, nice catch, first down. We'll take the timeout with 41 seconds left. We had to, we had to focus up there on third and long. Waited all day for him to get open. He finally does. First and 10 from the 20. Carson, three catches, 42 yards, and a touchdown so far. We'll hit Lowell, who is wide open again, and inside the 10 to the 8. And it's a first down and goal. Mitch Lowell, even with a stiff arm as well, but got lit up. From the 8, 22 seconds left. We I mean, run some play. We can do some run plays here. Lowell inside the 5 to the 4. We'll take our second timeout. We'll have one timeout left. From the 4. Second down and goal. One timeout left. We run again, and he's not going to get there. Nine seconds left from the two. We have probably one play to get into the end zone here. We just cannot throw an interception. Snap. I'm going to throw it quickly to Lowell, and he's got easy reins, easy touchdown. Go for it on third and goal with nine seconds left. We take the out route from our halfback, and we take a seven-point lead. Again, we start back on offense here in the second half. They didn't do anything with the ball with six seconds left. Running left side with Lowell and gains nothing. It's back to the line. Technically, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Up seven. Throw it quickly to Greer, easy first down, and all the way to the 43, gains 20. Matt Hanlon has now evened his touchdown and interception ratio to a one and one. He was seven and nine before this game and has two touchdowns in this game. Lowell with a run, gains three, maybe two. Has 70 on the ground today. Has also a couple catches through the air. Are looking for Pierce here? Maybe even Gilmore. Play action. Actually, we'll just hit our halfback, who is wide open again. And Lowell gets to the 39-yard line. 158 yards for Halen for two touchdowns. It's been a game to remember for him. Seven catches for 71 yards for Lowell as well. Running left side, Lowell gets five. He also has 75 on the ground. So he has over 150 yards, total yards. Again, if you ever have Mitch Lowell in your fantasy team, you're doing probably pretty well. And for example, he's wide open right here. All the way to the 16. Lowell is having a night. Eight catches for 90. Taking the snap. We have Carson, middle, touchdown again. Third touchdown of the game for Matt Halen. David Carson, second. And we have a two-touchdown lead against the Chargers. Justin Eckler has been the menace for us again. So back-to-back -back, uh, games that the halfback has been the main guy that has been a thorn in our side. Missed tackles. There we go, Rivers, along with help. Gets the tackle after getting a four. We've only allowed 139 yards total. And only 67 passing yards. Speaking of passing. Big, I don't know how in the world Eckler holds onto that ball. He got lit up as soon as he caught it. They're at 88 passing yards now. And if we hold them under 200, we'll get the upgrade. And we're going to get a sack for the first time today. Kelly with the sack. Lots of eights. We send the blitz. It's now second down and 18. What are they going to do here? They're going to run it again with Eckler. I mean, it probably is a good option here on second and long. They do. We don't fill the hole properly. And he gets 17. 
Almost 18. It's third down and an inch. I thought he was going to cut back inside, but he didn't. Third down and an inch from the 47. Running. Oh, I thought we had him in the backfield, but unfortunately we missed him. Gains three, enough for a first. Bowers with another tackle. It's his second of the game. First down at 10 from the 44. And mostly runs. Running it again, and this time he's got nowhere to go. The first time we get up behind the line. Second down 12. Out throw. Almost got hit behind the back throw, pretty much. Or kind of awkward angle. Gets 10 yards. He's 9 for 9 for 92 yards. Now third down and 2. Jalen Hurts, perfect so far in today's game, but one sack. Washington, big hit, fumbles the ball, we pick it up. Eckler puts it on the ground. And we get the first turnover of the game. Up 14 points with 3.13 to go. Lowell with a nice little run, gains seven. He's at 82 rushing yards. He also has over 90 receiving yards. Run the ball, left side. Lowell gains the first down, gains nine. He's now up at over 90 yards. Almost got another 100-yard performance, as well as almost 100 through the air. First and 10 from the 49. Throwing it. Ooh, I thought we had him. We had Gilmore deep, but couldn't get behind the throw. It came with a blitz. Second down and 10. Yeah, we're hitting Gilmore all day. Nice juke move. Inside or close to the 31, almost said inside the 30. I mean, this has been a solid game. I mean, solid game from Halen. 22 passes. I think he's only made two bad throws, and both of them were because of pressure. And Lowell goes nowhere for one of the first times today. Second down and 12th after the tackle for a loss. From the 33 yard line, a minute 13 to go. Over the middle, we got the catch. Greer, first down. Another catch for Greer. That's his third of the game. First and 10 from the 17. A lot of good options here. Yep, we're gonna take the out route to Greer again. His fourth catch, gains eight. Just not covering him. I don't know why you don't. Second down and two from the nine. We're gonna run the ball here with Lowell. Run right side. I don't think we get it. We get two. Yep, third and an inch. I mean, might as well go for it, right? Can we get the snap in before the final play of the quarter? We do. This is the final play of the quarter. We're going to run behind the line, and we fumble the ball. And that's Lowell's first fumble of his career. I don't know about career. But the first fumble of the season... And that's not a good opportunity because we fumble inside the red zone. So both teams now with a fumble. They're at the three-yard line, though, in the fourth quarter. Big hit from Washington. And that'll be now second down and 12 from the one. We came on the blitz. They went a fullback dive from the one-yard, from the three-yard line. Blitzing. Oh, I thought we had him with Washington. I thought we had a hole. Unfortunately, we did not. Gain seven there. It's third down and six. In the gun. They're going to throw it. And he's going to get sacked again. It's fourth and nine. 
The second sack of the game on the defense. And they got to pump from their own end zone. Unfortunately, we do fumble last time. Let's not fumble this time, shall we? We're up 14. But they missed to go. Nice catch by Greer. I'm surprised we caught that ball. 21 for 25, 250 yards, three touchdowns. It's it's just been a great game from Matt Halen. I mean, you can't blame him. It's, he's just been too good. Throwing underneath the Gilmore. I mean, we may also have made some great, you know, reads here in this game. Unlike some other games that we have. We have 351 yards total. Gilmore has four catches for 43 yards. And we're going to get Lowell his over 100 yards. He's very close. I think he's one yard away from 100 on through the air. He's nine catches, 99 yards. I'm going to trust him though with a run. Well, luckily this time he goes down instantly. He's only one yard away from receiving for 100 yards. He's almost rushed for over 100 yards. Bad throw, almost intercepted. That time I was just trying to get a four something there. Probably one of the bad reads I've made all day. Third down and seven from the 19. And speaking of 100, there's 100 and more and a touchdown. Mitch Lowell, 100 yards through receiving and two touchdowns. An insane game for Lowell again, making his case for the MVP here in week five. Hour up 31-10. I mean, the Chargers haven't really done anything here on offense here recently. Defense has really stepped up since the first half. Um, I mean, yeah, Austin Eckler has been a minutes, but it's Austin Eckler. Uh, throw and catch there for three yards. I mean, Jalen Hurts is five for five, but he's only, or 10 for 10, sorry, for 95 yards. So it's just, it's just been kind of weird. Oh, we definitely need to watch Austin Eckler here with Hamilton, at least for a second. Go quickly. Rivers has the tackle. He's now 104 passing yards. We need to keep him under 200. But I think that can happen. Now he can't throw 96 more yards. We have about five minutes left to go in the game as well. Throws it to Eckler. James can't push him out. Kelly will hit him hard out of bounds. He gains eight. He's yet to throw an incomplete pass, and he's 12 for 12. Well, they've only thrown it 12 times, but the running game for the Chargers has been the go-to thing. Give me a screen. And just broken tackles. Again, more broken tackles. Finally gets taken down. I think there's like four broken tackles in there. Bowers had to finally make the tackle. We definitely need help on tackling. First and 10. 205 yards now for the Chargers. Total. Snap. Throws it. Caught. Another broken tackle, but a hard hit. Now under four to go. He's still not near 200 yards. There's only don't give him the ball back. Oh, we have that play. Oh, I thought we were going to have that big hit on Hurts there. Lucky we don't get flagged for it. Why do you want me to call three man deep from the 24 yard line? Three minutes to go. Throwing it to Eckler. McCoy with a nice tackle. Gains only four, it's third and three. 144 yards. We can't allow 56 more. And there's two and a half to go in the game. At the 20 yard line. I gotta run it. Big hit. Loses the yard, it's fourth and four. Nothing doing there. Washington with another tackle for a loss. Fourth down and four. They're, of course they're going to go for it, down three scores. They will snap it with one second left before the two-minute warning. Throwing it. Caught. And it's incomplete. There is a flag. And it's going to be holding on the offense. So, of course, we'll decline it and get the turnover on downs. 
And it's time to run out the clock. We move to three and two. Of course, if we just hold on to the ball here with Lowell. Nelson only needs two more rushing yards to get 100. Gonna run it left side. Lowell has now not the 100 yards since there's a flag, so that'll stop the clock. To be holding on the offense. I'll bring it back to being second and 18. A minute 15 to go. Second down and 18. Just run up the middle. Lowell just pushing through everybody. He's now over 100 yards rushing. 40 seconds left. It's third down and 10. I don't know if they're going to call a timeout or not. I really hope they don't. Or we just get a first down here. We don't have to worry about it. And we do not. They do not call a timeout, so that's going to end the game. We win 21 by 21. A 31 to 10 victory at home for our first win at home. We move to 3 and 2 on the year. Taking a look at the stats before we go. I mean, Jalen Hurts, 15 for 16, 144 yards. Only the one incompletion was the knockdown at the end there. But how about Matt Halen? 24 for 29, 286 yards, four passing touchdowns. Rushing wise, of course, Mitch Lowell did have a fumble. Did not have a rushing touchdown, but of course, rushed for 109 yards. Receiving wise, 10 catches, 118 yards, two touchdowns. Glenn Greer, five catches, 62. Casey Gilmore, four for 43. David Carson, 4 for 58 with two touchdowns. And David Pierce, 1 for 5. So Robertson did not get a catch in this game. It's kind of weird. No sacks allowed. Jeremy Washington. I guess Brandon Bowers, the team with tackles with 10. Three tackles allowed for a loss from Washington. Uh, one by Kelly, Miles, and Drake. Two sacks. One by, not even going to try to pronounce that last name. So we're going to call him Levy. Um, and then Zeke Kelly with the other sack. No in No interceptions. No deflections. Oh, we did get a deflection from Bowers, I guess. One forced one by Washington. One recovery by Matabuke. So, good game all around. Of course, we went perfect um, on field goals and extra points. But anyways, uh, that's going to do it for me and episode number seven. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Any guys, if you guys are new, please hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, it really helps out the channel. Leave a like as well. Or also leave a comment, seeing what you guys want to see uh, in the next one. Uh, do you guys want to see, you know, challenges or something like that? Um, or if you guys are really liking uh, the videos, really lets me know. Uh, anyways, y'all are the real MVPs. I appreciate all the new subs. Uh, anyways, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'm out. Peace.